Hey everyone, uh, here I'm going to be introducing you guys to the Monster Workshop, uh, which is a new content pack out that allows you to assemble uh, and create your own cartoon-like characters, uh, monster-like characters, and also animate them in really unique ways as well. Um, so let's take a look at the webpage first. You can see that there's a whole number of uh, different combinations you can, uh, different combinations of monsters you can create. Uh, depending on your own creativity, you can make them uh, pretty, pretty freaky looking uh, if, if you want. Um, but yeah, basically to, uh, to assemble these monsters, you um, use character bases, uh, you can see on the top there, and uh, you can add eyebrows and uh, all kinds of stuff, ears, tails. Um, these are a number of the different uh, facial expression templates here. Um, these are all uh, templates that you can easily, really easily animate uh, with your monster. And I'll show you that later in uh, other tutorials. Um, but uh, also on top of that, there's uh, you know tails, uh, ears, eyebrows, everything that you can uh, control with puppet animation. Uh, you can see the ears here. Um, and notice the difference when I select the spring ears. There's spring parts as well that react naturally to uh, your character's motion. Um, spring stuff is pretty cool. You can see the tail here as well, uh, just moving along naturally. Uh, so yeah, that's all, that's all that stuff. Um, also included in the monster pack is a number of uh, equipment items, equipment props. Uh, I'll select that here, you can take a look. There's uh, pots and pans, boots and shoes and all kinds of stuff there. Torches, buckets, uh, Robin Hood hat. On top of that, uh, there's also a number of different uh, materials as well. Uh, different colors and options for your, uh, for your different various spring and puppet props. Yeah, that's about it for that. Alright, so here we are in iClone, and the first thing I'm going to do is introduce you to the basics, uh, essentially where you can find all the content that's included in the Monster Workshop content pack. Uh, so let's start off in the Actor tab, go to the Avatar section here, and if you scroll down you should find a directory called Monster Workshop Volume 1. And here you'll have your three bases, Groucho, Indigo, and Peach. Uh, these are the bases from which you can start your monster creation. Uh, if I just double click on Indigo here, I can bring him into the scene, uh, press F to from a front view here, and you can see he's just a, a basic uh, template character. He has no uh, no eyes or no ears or anything like that at the moment. Uh, you can modify this guy in any number of ways possible. Um, we'll get into that in other, other tutorials in the future, but uh, for this one I'll just basically show you how to uh, assemble a quick character. Uh, so let's go to Actor and then Accessories now. And uh, there's there, there should be another uh, folder called Monster Workshop as well. Uh, just uh, open that folder up and you'll see Equipment. Um, in Equipment, there's a number of things such as axes, hats, horns, shovels, um, any, anything for a number of disgruntled villagers chasing a monster. Um, or else, uh, there's also the puppet parts here. Uh, now, the puppet parts are basically parts on your character which you can manipulate individually. You can animate them using the Avatar Toolkit uh, panel, which we'll get into later. And uh, we also have spring parts here. Spring parts are just uh, similar to puppet parts, um, but they will react naturally to your character's movement in a spring-like uh, motion. So uh, we'll get into that later as well. Uh, but for now, I'll just uh, start off with puppet parts and bring a couple of parts onto my character here. Just double click the eyes. Let's give him some eyes there. Um, we can give him maybe some ears as well. Let's give him these ears here. Now remember all of these, uh, all of these items you can uh, you can resize, um, scale them uh, any way you, you'd like. Uh, you can rotate them, move them, etc. All that stuff. Um, we'll do a bit more of that later, though. Um, so he has eyes, ears. Let's give him some eyebrows for some additional expression. And uh, in spring parts, I'm going to also give him a uh, some hair just to show you uh, exactly what the spring uh, spring parts do. So there's his uh, mohawk there. We can maybe move that up a little bit. Uh, of course, you can stretch and resize that as well. Give him a big one or a small one. All right. Um, now, if you want to select your, uh, your parts individually, you can do that any number of ways. Uh, if I press the Q button, I can select uh, um, any item on my character's face here like this. I zoom in a little bit closer. Um, if I drag from the top left and I have a selection box, anything that's uh, touching that box will be selected. So you can see uh, all that stuff is selected. Whereas if I, if I drag from the right, top right corner, then only the stuff that's fully encompassed will be selected by my, uh, 
find my box there. So you can see that only the eyebrows were selected there. So uh, that's one way to select your uh, your character's items. Uh, an e easier way to do that is to uh, go into the scene manager here. You'll see that uh, there's my ears, eyes, and uh, eyebrows. Um, it looks a bit complicated at first, but actually it's a little bit simple. Um, if I select the eyes there, you can see it selects my eyes. I can move those around. Um, ears, um, you can select each one individually. Uh, right there as well. And I can also select my hair as well. Now, if I select my hair, um, there's a number of ways that uh, you can modify your any, any of the items on your character's face. Uh, for example, if I select my hair and I go to the modify panel on the right, um, you'll see here that uh, it's attached to my head. And if I go down to the materials, there's only one material ID called hair02. And I can uh, adjust the uh, hue, saturation, any, anything like that for this, uh, for this hair here. I want to make it uh, white, I can up the brightness, for example, maybe put no saturation. Give him a white mohawk there. Alright, whereas if I select uh, the eye, for example, or the ear, you'll see if I select the eye, this is a good example, that there is a whole ton of material IDs in here. Uh, standard 7 represents the dummies. Uh, eye blink will be the, uh, the eyelid that comes down when you blink. Um, the iris is the eye. You can see the diffuse map there. Um, the eyelid is the uh, edge around the character's eye there. Um, so this actually has both eyes. So there's two copies of each. So you see two, two irises, two eye blinks and whatnot. So that's how you can select your individual materials for individual edit as well. Okay, now if I, if I want, I can also... Uh, I'll show you how the spring... Uh, the spring prop works here, or the spring hair. Uh, if I quickly go into uh, animation, maybe select direct puppet here, you'll see that uh, when that comes up, I can kind of select my character's head here, uh, primary rotation, and preview. If I preview that and move his head around, you can see the hair kind of bounces around like a, like a real mohawk should. So that's the uh, difference between spring and puppet props. Now to show you the puppet props, I need to go into uh, the set tab, the uh, prop section and go down to the monster workshop folder once again and you'll see a puppet controller I can simply double click that to bring that into my scene and there it is uh, it's just a dummy um, you can uh, make it invisible if you want hide it um, using the scene manager down here um, you can also minimize the uh, avatar toolkit uh, if you close it or accidentally uh, close it you can actually just right click on the puppet controller Go to script and monster. Whoops! Script and monster puppet, and that'll bring it back up again. And as soon as I click on my character, any character on the scene, it will become enabled. Uh, you'll see now that I can start to animate. So let's uh, zoom in on the character's face here a little bit, and go into the uh, different sections here. You'll see there's expressions, eyes, eyebrows, ears, and others. So expressions are uh, first. Let's start with those. Those are just basic templates now. If I move this little green dot, this little green indicator around, you'll see that my character can run through any number of different expressions. And um, these expressions animate all of the puppet features on your face at a single time. So the eyelids, you can see the uh, ears, eyebrows are all moving. Now if I move to eyes, you can get a little bit more specific with the eyes. Um, eyeballs, I can move those around individually. Uh, the eyelid, I can move those as well. And uh, the blink, make your character blink. You can also select auto blink if you want your character to automatically blink when you're recording. Uh, you can select invert, which is kind of cool. Um, if I select invert and then roll my eyes around, you'll see that I can uh, make my character cross-eyed or do some pretty funny looking uh, eyeball animations. I can also deselect any one of my uh, eyes here, right or left one. If I do that, only the right one will move now. Only his right uh, eyeball will move. See that moving around. If my character has more than two eyes, uh, if he has like four eyes or five or whatever, however many eyes, I can select all up here and that will uh, control all the eyes at the same time. And also I can adjust the uh, iris size. Oh, invert is still on there, so if you select that, you can see the uh, irises will change size. Okay, eyebrows, similar thing to, to the eyes. Um, just move them around. 
you can play around with that yourself. Um, you know, select individual ones at a single time. And uh, variation will just change their initial position. Uh, ears, uh, very similar as well. You can move them around, flap them around, make them big like uh, Dumbo ears if you want. Um, move one at a time. Again, variation just changes their uh, width, I guess. And uh, if I click on others, right now we currently don't have anything because others represents like horns and tails and wings and stuff like that. Uh, so if I go back into my actor tab and uh, I can select a uh, puppet part. And let's give this guy some horns here. So if I move down to horn 03, I can just double click that and it'll import into my character here. Um, let's, uh, let's add a couple of those to even out his face a little bit. Um, Double click that again. I can move this one over and just rotate it. And there you go. Voila. My character has two horns. Now you'll see uh, as soon as I did that, that in the drop down menu here, there's two uh, horns. You can select either one. Um, and uh, if you move them individually, um, I can move this one as well. Uh, I can select all as well. That'll move both of them at the same time. And uh, variation will just change their initial position. Now this uh, this others section is used for uh, for tails, wings, like I mentioned, any any other thing like that that's not involved uh, with facial features. So let's get into quick uh, some quick animation here. Uh, make our puppet controller invisible there. Let's get into some animation. So if I select my character, I'll go back to expressions here. I'm going to show you this uh, record clip function. We also have add key and uh, reset pose as well. We'll get into those later. But uh, with record clip, if I select that, you'll see it will immediately, immediately turn green. Uh, now, as soon as I move this uh, green little dot in the middle, it'll begin my recording. So if I click and drag that, you'll see my character gets an angry face and I can kind of move that up to a surprise face and then maybe back to my regular face. And the, time, and the timeline will stop moving. So I can just play that back and show you. Um, it basically animated according to my mouse movements, the timing and everything like that. Should be correct. So there you go. See his transition there. All right. So that's uh, that's how the record clip function works. Just like real time uh, body puppet recording. I can uh, right click on my character and remove the animation to bring it back to normal. I'll show you the uh, add key uh, function. So if I select add key and uh, maybe move my little green dot tiny little bit and move the timeline up to maybe around frame 50. I can do the same kind of expression here. Make him angry. This is for more uh, more detailed editing. Um, uh, frame ahead a little bit more. Maybe go to the ex surprise expression. Um, so you'll see that, uh, and maybe go back here a little more. And I can also press the uh, reset pose. So that'll bring my character's face back to normal. All right. So I made a few few key edits there. You'll see if I play back. The timing will be a little bit different. You'll see it's a bit more sudden. Now, if I want to uh, adjust the timing on that, I can go into my uh, timeline by pressing F3. And you'll see that uh, if I go into the uh, Accessories tab, I can select any number of the, uh, the features here to edit those individually. Now, because this was all done using the Expression uh, template, Basically, when you edit the uh, clip for one of them, it will edit the clip for th the rest of them as well. So, for example, let's select my eyelid. And uh, let's select two eyelids just, just to show you an example. Now, you'll see in the animation track, if I expand that a little bit, you'll see there's there's basically my three uh, keys. Uh, they rep they're represented by uh, animation clips in the animation track. And that's basically where the animation takes place, right there. So you'll see that uh, if I click and drag the uh, transition zone there, I can kind of make that transition a little bit, uh, a little bit longer. Um, there you go, as, com as compared to how, how it was before, a lot shorter. And you can, of course, move those clips around as well. You can move them uh, to any frame you'd like. And uh, let's uh, increase the transition zone for all of them here. And you'll see that when I when I click and uh, edit one of them in the one eyelid track, it will do the same thing to the other track as well. And that will also translate into all of the other tracks such as the eyebrows, the ears, 
and everything else as well because I use the expression template. Now if I use the individual uh, sections such as uh, eyes or brows or ears, that will create separate, uh, separate clips for each, each accessory. So the ears will be separate from the eyes and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, that's the basics of, of animation. Um, that's record clip and add key. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to check out our other Monster Workshop tutorials uh, on character customization, uh, basic animation, lip sync, all that stuff. And uh, you can also email me, email me at developer at So uh, enjoy the Monster Workshop and have fun.